Hey everybody, I've been having a lot of fun with tier lists, so today I decided to do a CSGO knife tier list. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think you guys will be surprised. I think I have some pretty controversial opinions. I think everyone unanimously kind of agrees which ones are bad and good. Um, I'm going to try to flip that a little bit and make some of you guys angry in the comments. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and start. And I told myself, like, I can only have, like, one or two an S, one or two an A, because honestly half of these are, like, S tier in my mind, but I got to really pinpoint which ones I like. So... We're going to start off hot, super controversial. I'm going to go ahead and put the falchion at S. The falchion is personally my favorite knife. Um, so, yeah, it's going to get angry instantly if you want. Um, now, my other S tier knife I'm going to go ahead and save because it's more of an obvious one. Um, let's go ahead and maybe go to the bottom, the F. Let's go ahead and put a stiletto at F. That one's, I think, pretty universally understood as one of the worst knives. I think there's a couple of people who really like like maybe like the rubies and sapphires of it but in general i think most people know the stilettos probably the f um let's go ahead and bring some mid tier i'm gonna go ahead and put the huntsman knife over at hmm about b i think that's fair in my heart it's a but i gotta save a for some of the better ones now this might make quite a few people angry I'm going to go ahead and also put the gut knife at B. I think a lot of people would have it much, much lower. I'm actually a fan of the gut knife. I think it has a very large uh, surface area that can, you know, show a lot of pattern. I think it's nice, personally. Um, now, let me maybe show you an example of one that I don't like because of the opposite reason. doesn't doesn't show a lot of the play. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this at F. I think these are... In my opinion, probably the two worst knives in the game. And I think it only gets better from there. Like, I think it gets slightly better with the Bowie. Hmm. Maybe that's not fair to the Bowie. Let's go ahead and put the Bowie at D. And I think we're going to go ahead and put the Shadows at E. Because I would much rather have a Bowie over a Shadow. So they can't be in the same tier list. Now, the Flip. The Flip is like the Mighty Neutral. Let's go ahead and put that at C. I think the skeleton knife. Oh, I'm going to be a little controversial. Maybe I'm going to put it at B. I think a lot of people would have it much higher. I'm going to put it at B. I'm going to go ahead and maybe do the obvious. I'm going to put the karambit at A. And maybe that might not be so obvious. I think a lot of you might have it at S. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the M9 bayonet at A. I'm going to go ahead and put the normal bayonet at A. I think those are classics. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to... Oh, this one might make some people angry. I'm going to go with the classic knife. I'm going to go with E. I don't like the classic knife. A lot of the older Counter-Strike players might get mad. Even though I've been playing Counter-Strike for like 7-8 years at this point. Which I know is nothing compared to some of you boomers who have been playing for like 15 years since Source or 1.6. But, hey, whatever. Look, I started in Global Offensive, so I'm a, I'm a Gen Z um okay now here's where we get a little harder because a lot of these knives are pretty neutral overall and they don't look that bad i think i'm gonna go ahead and put the talon over at b even though i think it should be higher i actually almost prefer the talon over the crambit but hmm i don't know i'm gonna put the ursus over at e no d Let's put the paracord at C. This at C. I think this at C too. I think all of those are pretty C tier knives. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and put obviously the other S tier I think is a butterfly. I think this is a pretty good tier list. Um to be honest, so you can go ahead and snapshot that. But if I was maybe true with myself and like I could have like unlimited because this is a nice bell curve, right? It's fair. But I think if I could move things around, I would probably have... Ooh, I'd probably put the Talon up at S. I think I might put the Bayonet over at S. I think I might leave those. I think Huntsman would probably go A. I think I would probably move the Bowie up to C, this up to B. I think the Ursus up to C. Maybe this up to A. I think this would be like a more fair tier list. If like I was truly... Well, see, no. If I was truly speaking my mind, I would straight up just go bang, bang, bang. Yeah, I think... No, and then the gutman over at A. 
I think if I was speaking my true mind, I think this would be closer to what I'd be thinking. Maybe we could even move those there. You know what? Let's just go ahead. And <laughs> this was my true brain. I think this is what I would pick. But realistically, if I have to be true with myself, I think we'd have to move these back into position here. What else did I have? I think I had that there. I think I had that there. Whatever. I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, tell me in the comments if you completely agree with me and roast me or if you agree. Do you think the falchion is as cool as I do? I love the falchion. Or do you love the shadow daggers? Let me know.